Could a single gene be a key factor in the evolution of speech? In a groundbreaking experiment, researchers inserted a human-specific version of the NOVA-1 gene into mice, triggering unexpected changes in their vocal communication. The results hint at a deep genetic connection between language development and human evolution, raising fascinating questions about what made Homo sapiens distinct from other hominins. A genetic experiment that changed mouse vocalization. Scientists at Rockefeller University sought to investigate how the NOVA, one gene, which plays a role in brain function, affects vocal communication. This gene exists across many species, but in humans, it contains a single amino acid difference, a tiny mutation that might have had profound evolutionary consequences. When mouse pups carrying the humanized NOVA, one variant called for their mothers, their squeaks were higher pitched and structurally different from their wild-type counterparts. Researchers categorized mouse vocalizations into four distinct letters, S, D, U, and M. In genetically modified mice, some of these letters shifted, suggesting that the human N, O, V, A, 1 gene altered the way they communicated from birth. As they matured, these modified mice displayed even more striking differences. Male mice spoke differently when courting females, producing more complex high-frequency calls compared to normal mice. This suggests that even subtle genetic changes could impact vocal behaviors that influence social interaction and survival. The NOVA-1 gene, a clue to human speech, evolution. The NOVA-1 gene encodes a protein that helps regulate RNA binding, which in turn affects brain development and neural activity. Scientists initially believed this human variant wouldn't drastically change the way the protein functioned in mice. However, they were surprised to find that it specifically altered the regulation of genes linked to vocalization, an unexpected discovery. We thought, wow, we did not expect that. It was one of those really surprising moments in science, said Dr. Robert Darnell, the study's lead author. This raises the possibility that the emergence of this specific nova, one mutation, may have played a role in the evolution of speech in early humans. What about Neanderthals and Denisovans? A key revelation from this research is that Neanderthals and Denisovans did not possess the human NOVA-1 mutation. Instead, they had the same ancestral version of the gene that is found in all non-human animals. This suggests that early Homo sapiens in Africa developed the I-197V mutation in NOVA-1, giving them a possible advantage in vocal communication. As modern humans migrated out of Africa and spread worldwide, this mutation may have been a key factor in the dominance of our species over other hominin groups. Did Neanderthals and Denisovans lack the same capacity for complex structured speech? Could the ability to develop sophisticated language have given Homo sapiens a decisive survival advantage over other human-like species? While this study doesn't provide definitive answers, it adds another intriguing piece to the puzzle of human evolution. A step closer to understanding the origins of language. This study, published in Nature Communications, highlights how small genetic mutations can have a profound impact on communication and social behavior. While many factors contributed to the rise of human speech, this experiment provides compelling genetic evidence that our ability to vocalize evolved from specific biological changes. The implications go beyond human history. Understanding the genetic foundations of speech could lead to breakthroughs in neuroscience, speech disorders, and even artificial intelligence. One thing is clear, language, one of humanity's defining traits, may have deeper evolutionary roots than we ever imagined.